Hello Virgo. <laughs> this is my second time trying to start this one. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at today uh, for your energy going into 2022. I think I even said 2021 in the other one. So it's better I change that. Um, today I'm looking at the energy of January and uh, we're looking at the energy of, of it going in, the energy for the month and the energy going out of it. Uh, and towards the following year. So um, as I was saying before, and you missed all my lovely waxing poetically there, um, I was talking about the fact that I believe it's Venus just went retrograde like two days ago. So for some of you, you may have been feeling a real uh, change in energy. So this would have happened, I think, 27th. Um, and really, for, for Venus, Venus has a tendency to romanticize things. You can look at things more favorably. You tend to be, you know, really happy about everything, But so, which is great. And, and it makes people feel, you know, you're going into the holidays and it was feeling great and romantic. And everybody was longing for that time together and making those memories. And then you come to Venus, go, Venus going to retrograde and all of a sudden those rose-colored glasses are taken off. Now, for a lot of people, that can be very disturbing. But if you think of it this way, um, it's really about seeing the true picture behind things, but also being able to keep a positive attitude about them. You know, Venus has nothing to do with positive attitude as far as your personal beliefs. If you believe that it's going to be good, it's going to move forward well. And I think that that's some people like, are always like, well, you know, I've got this and this or whatever. And, I, and I'm not an astrologer by any stretch of the imagination. That's not what I do. But I do pay attention to it. Um, and I have mentioned before that there are a couple that I follow just to sort of give me a big picture idea of what's going on. Um, in this case, it really did feel for me like like those glasses were removed. I had spent pretty much the majority of 2021 feeling as though we were coming out of a fog and it was very slow and it was very gradual. So when we get to this, this energy shift, all of a sudden those glasses are off and we're like, whoa, wait a second. You know, what happened to those two years, right? And I think that that's pretty much the way you're feeling. Um, it, you know, definitely spiritually, it feels like things have stopped for you. You're feeling, you were feeling very stagnated going into it. And then all of a sudden you get this burst of energy, right? Strength is good. Strength means that you have the ability to overcome whatever comes at you. And in this case, it's not going to be a bad thing. It seems that you're going to be given, um, to me, Virgo, it seems like there's going to be more um, I hate to use this word the way it's going to sound, enlightenment. There's going to be this sort of, it's taken on such a bad term, um, awakening of the senses. Pay attention to to synchronicities in your life, but pay attention to the subtle, the subtleness of it as well. I mean, we, as I said, we've got this sort of very sharp clarity coming through uh, right now. And because of that, we may be too critical and, and tend to not pay attention to what is being presented to us because we're thinking with a rational mind, this is a thing that can possibly be. Yes, it can. And what this is saying is to look for those things um, with an eye towards it being an offering to you to move you forward. Uh, <laughs> physically, when you started out the month, you seem like me. It was a bit of a, a fog going into it, maybe... Um, it doesn't feel bad. It doesn't feel like you're coming from a bad place. It definitely feels as though 
There were a lot of opportunities that were there that were open to you moving into January as we go towards it. There are a lot of things that you're going to see being offered to you. And so your opportunity is going to be whether which one you take, really. Yeah, see, because you've got uh, illusions and delusions. This can also be um, multiple offerings to you multiple opportunities it can be a lot of choices to look at and it does sort of feel like that it feels like there's a lot of choices for you here um you throughout january though you have your eye on the prize you have your eye on what you want and i think that that comes with this clarity shift that we've all had um it definitely feels that way moving forward like like these things here are on the periphery, okay? They are on the outside of your focus. Now, that being said, you need to pay attention to what the big picture, all of it, all of it, um, because that's a part of it as well. And so those opportunities may not be traditional. Um, those opportunities may seem... out of character for you, but there's still an option. And so you're going to need to guide. I don't feel like anything is going to be made right now. I do feel like whatever this opportunity is, is going to be coming in either in February or March. It does feel like the beginning of the year. However, it does feel like this month is sort of a transition period with these opportunities opening up for you. Um, emotionally or mentally, you're, you're done with everything that you've had so far. Um, maybe the turmoils of the last two years, you're like, I'm done. You got the chariot, you got justice, and you got judgment. And those three together tell me you are just ready to be done with it. You're looking forward to moving on. I see this as, as, you know, some people would get very, um, some people have a hard time with a lot of opportunities coming up. And that doesn't feel that way for you. It does feel very focused. Um, just, just remember that when you focus so much that you need to pay attention to the little things as well. All right, so we're going to clarify uh, with the enchanted map. All right. Let's clarify the world being upside down. What is it that has sort of stopped movement for you right now? What does Virgo need to know going into the month? Besides me dropping cards. Huh. So metamorphosis. You're going through a change. We talked about this. So it definitely does feel like this is a transformational change. Um, these change, these opportunities, as I said, are going to be coming forward to you. It does feel like this is not necessarily in your nature normally um, for this to be. It's going to ask you to consider some things that were not normally in your nature. All right. So perhaps look at that, those other opportunities there. Um, you got the wishing well. So the wishing well is telling you that you're 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 hoping for something else. You're you're putting your emphasis into something that you hope it it don't although it seems to me like you're not quite sure what it is that you want, you just know you want something different. That's what it feels like to me. Uh and encouragement, right? So towards the end of the month you were looking at um 
it, it definitely feels like as you get to the end of this month, you're ready to make those changes. You're ready to face that opportunity that's coming forward for you. All right. So lastly, we are going to do a reading from uh, or a card from the Shaman's Oracle to finish this off. What does Virgo need to know for January 2022? What does Virgo need to know? Draw two. Okay, obstacles. This is where you are right now. It feels like you're coming off of a year of obstacles, right? We're actually going to draw three. Beginning, middle, and end. <clears throat> You're coming from a place where everything in our lives has been sort of stopped, right? That's the wall. That's the obstacles. Those are the things that have been holding us back. Um, you are now entering, uh, um, this is a sacred contract. The contract could be um, more of a spiritual contract. It's sort of... Um, it does feel to me like there is going to be this awareness. Awareness. That's the best word I can come up with. If perhaps your mind has always been very um, focused on in one direction, it's going to be asking you to look at another. That's what that's all about. And the last card is the perfect storm. It's the courage to step into life. So it's asking you to take that choice because we had those... Those choices that came up for us, right? It's asking you to believe that it's possible, that it that it is available to you to move forward. All right. Well, it looks like a fantastic January for you. I mean, it, it as with any transition, it's going to be scary, but there's definitely this sense there's nothing bad here. It's just asking you to expand your boundaries a bit. So, all right. I hope you are all well. I hope you've had a fantastic Christmas. Um, Christmas tree is going away soon. So, all right. I'm sending you the best. Stay safe, stay healthy. I'm sending blessings from Maine. Bye-bye.